50? Oh, I think he'll make 50. Like, there's a couple. If, if he makes 50, he's definitely in the, in the bottom 10. But, like, nothing to take against, the, uh, uh, like, away from him. He just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, there's a couple people who who kind of got off last time just being on there to be on there. But, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, man, right into it. Winners finals right here. Wadi and uh, ZD about to hold it down right here. Wadi, uh, you know, obviously no stranger to winners finals. But my man ZD actually been holding it down ever since he switched over from uh, Luigi to Fox. This Fox has been looking kind of nice. I was just talking to Phil Tishon a second ago and said, well, I don't see you no more. He said, we, you guys got another Fox. I said, it's not really a... It's not really an excuse, but like <laughs> I mean, yeah. Snow moved away and, and ZD, uh, you know, ascended. So yeah. it makes sense. I mean, he's been on a, a tear throughout this tournament. You yeah, know, a lot of people that I didn't, I didn't expect him to be pink fresh. That was the biggest shocker uh, to me. But I mean, he's been doing a good job. He had a pretty close set with Wadi last week as well. So I'm probably not happy that he ended up dropping it. So looking to avenge that right now. And yeah, uh, I mean, a lot, I mean, a lot of brain powers to be used uh, later on when you have these. These are like the, the, the grand sanities that we used to have all the time. You know, we had one twenty, like five or six people in this uh, tournament. And uh, a lot of our top players have showed up. So uh, top eight looking a little uh, more mixed up than usual. And, you know, grand final, winner's finals looking a lot more mixed up than usual than not being just Pink Fresh versus Wadi. Wadi right there, though, no, making quick work of that first stock of ZD right there. Nice uh, B reverse shadow ball to get that stock off. It's actually pretty cool. We're guaranteed like a fresh grand finals because Pink Fresh isn't even in the tournament anymore. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind. And Wadi though doing doing Wadi things right here. I mean, it's kind of what you expect out of this guy. Level of dominance he's shown throughout his Xanadu career, just in general. And, and ZD kind of being on the uh, the receiving end right now. Oh my that was God! A crazy catch, which will probably result in a stock here, and that's gonna do it. Wadi just making short work of ZD right there. So much goodbye in that whole statement right there. But you try to roll back, bro. Absolutely not. Mewtwo was definitely making a uh, great usage of that uh, speed buff that he got in the last buff. Uh, to catch that man on that back roll, and then immediately the disabled to the full charge up smash. Wadi, uh, not even Wadi, um, ZD not even trying to match right there. I think he just knew his life was over. He's like, you know what, you got it. It's just one of those things you accept. All right, out to game two right here. Mm. Okay, strong start right here yet again from Wadi. All right, trying to look for the air dodge right there, or maybe just the poten uh, potential to actually get the down. Yeah, that would have been a very nice setup. But just like that, quick 43%. Off of one hit, basically. See ZD over here trying to answer back. Okay. ZD was in a crew battle, right? Uh, yes. Mm. I think he actually, I think he took four stocks as well. Oh, damn. Right, let's go, ZD. Something like that. Took three stocks. Three okay, stocks. Three, three stocks. Got the stats. VG stats. VG stats. Appreciate it. Not to be confused with PG stats, but we had those first. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Letting people know, man. Letting people know. Oh, wow. That was a crazy good up smack right there. Really good reaction from ZD. Kind of recognized where Wadi was going. He um, was trailing quite a bit there, man. Just how quickly an up smash changes things. He put on display. But that Shadow Claw going to do the same exact thing. Wadi not taking a percent and even things right back up. Oh, nice. Patience right there. Oh, oh, my God. What? Do you realize that he died and didn't take a single percent afterwards? Do you understand the magnitude of that ass whooping? I mean, I think I think he more than avenged himself from that that cruise flub he had. Right, but it was he didn't take a percent after he died first. It, it was magnificent. It was magnificent. It was splendid, if you will. It was Wadi. So we've come to expect from him. Why do you do him like that? 